How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Box to Box. The Premier League season is coming to an end, but it's still all to play for. Whether we're talking about the title race, the top four race or relegation, listen, there's going to be hella changes over the next seven, eight games. But this one here is important for two reasons. One, title race for Arsenal and another top four race for Aston Villa, mm -hmm. which has gone a bit pear-shaped recently, but I'm here with a big Villa fan. You know his face already. Look, he's shaking his head. They got Luke Vernon in the building. Luke. What are you telling me, bro? I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. Listen, listen. It's got a bit pear shaped, yeah. But nobody expected us to be in this in this situation anyway. <laughs> me, so like, I, I'm proud of us as it is. You get me. However, Why are you shaking your head? However, honest, however, however Spurs have got some hard games coming, bro. There's no point even mentioning Manu because they're out of the race, and I don't even know why people are trying to trying to say like. Agreed. I saw a thing on Instagram yesterday, and it was some AI predicted um, winners, Champions League winners. They've got United winning next year. <laughs> Next 2025, year. I saw that, bro. Yo, hey, AI is done. AI is done. It was done, a good bro. run. I believed in AI before this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now it's done in the bin. AI is done in bro. the bin. How you been, though? All good? Yeah, man, been good, man. Been busy. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, trying to keep up watching all the games and stuff. But yeah, man, I've been good, man. Come on. Come on. Listen, you're right. Tottenham got Arsenal to play, City to play, Liverpool to play. Um, obviously, you've just played Tottenham. Didn't go well. You've just played City out of the way. Didn't go well. You've got Arsenal now. But in terms of looking at the fixture this towards the end of the season, I, I understand why you would be confident. You are confident, right? Yeah, yeah I'm confident. Um, I think also I just saw something. I don't know if it's being confirmed, but about we might be getting an extra Champions League place in the Premier League anyway. So um, if, that falls, if that falls to fifth place... That's going to be us anyway. So, but I still think you've got to cheer us on. I still cheer who? You've got to cheer us on against Munich. You got to like, cheer us on against Munich. Listen, bro. you like don't even want the smoke I got for y'all against Munich. So, like, if you if you want it, <laughs> let me know because I'll I'll come for you. As quick. Do you want the fifth? Do you want the fifth place spot or not? Because the fifth place spot only comes if the English teams do well this season. So, do you want yeah. to back it or not? Come on, then City. Pagan. <laughs> 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 to be honest, you're right. Fifth spot might be Champions League. So, it, you know, all this whole top four race might just, you know, go up in the air because fifth might be coming. But we don't know. It's a bit of a weird format. Mm. I still I still think that Villa will... I don't think it's going to be a clear-cut chance for Tottenham because, as we know, Tottenham play great and then they play terrible, you know what I mean? So, I think I think it's yeah. going to be close between Villa and Tottenham. I don't think it's... I think it might be like at two points, maybe a point. I'm backing you up to do it. Hopefully you do do it. Um, pit them to fourth and no fifth place Champions League, even though mm -hmm. if we go far, which I hope we do, that will become a reality. But listen, Luke, talk to me, man. Um, last time we spoke, Villa flying high, still flying high, mm -hmm. um, especially when you consider the expectation at the start of the season. But in recent weeks, you know, you, you've opened the door for Tottenham. Tottenham have walked through it, currently sitting just above you with a game less played. But like you said, the fixture list, you know, it, it works in your favour. What, 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 what's happened? I mean, at one point, it looked like Aston Villa were going to kind of break away from Tottenham a little bit. You've broken away from United, that's for sure. But um, was this to be expected? Did you, you know, you probably looked at the first half of the season and said, there's going to be a bump along the way. Mm, yeah, I, th I think obviously we've had, we've had minor injuries and then we've had significant injuries over the, over the course of the season as well. The red, uh, the red card from McGinn didn't help at all, but he's back. He's back, uh, so he's going to be playing against Jar. He's going to get the, the goal again, you know what I'm saying, against Arsenal. I, don't, I know that still pains you, <laughs> that little 1-0 that we got against you. You lot need to remember, it you does. need to remember that as a, Villa, as a Villa supporter or Villa fans, we're potentially not going to get six points over the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Liverpool. But if we can get three, even four, we're winning. You know what I mean? So we've already got three from Arsenal. We've already got three from Man City in the same week. May I, may I, may I, like put out there? I remember. No one, no one's got legs like that, like Villa, bro. So, yeah, man. I, I just think, yeah, I just think. Um, I don't think we've got found out. I just think it happens. It, you know what I mean? We ain't got that experience yet. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. That, that's what it is. I mean, you have you haven't got experience, but you've got a hell of a lot of quality, and you've got a manager with experience. It's, it's Emery's first return back to the Emirates since being Aston Villa boss, if I'm not mistaken. You know more than me, bro. <laughs> you, you should, no, you, off the top you of my head, he came, he came mid. Well, no, that's James. I need to make James. Now nah, he's gone on. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we played. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he came through halfway through last season. We already played the home game. He only mm. took part in that. 
me think she's not sure. Listen, don't quote me. Not sure. Who know Emery? We both know him quite well. Obviously, you've got a lot of faith, trust in him, considering he's bringing Aston Villa on the verge back into Europe. Let's not Mm -hmm. forget Aston Villa have a huge European heritage. Mm -hmm. Um, Everything rosy there. You know, still happy with Emery. Still happy with you know how he's molding and, and going through the season. Listen. We had basically the same team that Gerard had. Unai's came in and we're fifth. We've got Lil tonight. You know what I mean? Like, we're like we're already in Europe. We're potentially going to be in Europa or Champions League next year. Like, it's it's a it's a great feeling as an Aston Villa fan because for a long time it's been a it's been, it's been some hardships, bro. I might have been might have been on the streets, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I hear you. I hear you, but. I had to mention Aston Villa's heritage because, you know, modern day football tends to forget about clubs that have done it before, and Aston Villa have been at you know the top of European football before. So. I guess who had to Arsenal? You think I really... yeah, you get me? Like we've Aston already done it. it. Aston Villa back that you don't even finished top four in how many years, bro? <laughs> European heritage, Listen. you can't even get back into Europe. Listen, we're talking Europe right now. Yeah, we have the trophy. You like don't have the trophy. You all talk. Also, <laughs> may I add? It's that beautiful month of April. You know what April means for yeah. Arsenal, isn't it? Talk to me. Talk to me. I want to hear it. Listen, do you not you like want the smoke? Because if you want the Talk smoke... Talk to me. I want to hear it. So we've right, got clips cool. ready on Monday. I need to know what was Raya doing on the halfway line. Please, please explain to me. My man here yeah, is moving like so. b Tech Neuer. None of these Spanish players even want to stay in goal nowadays. You... You've got a new goalkeeper anyway, and he's your centre back. Man like Dida, bro. You see, Gabriel and Raya, their chemistry is on a red line right now. And you know what the joke is? When I was listening to your interviews, yeah, no, everyone was talking about the soccer penalty, the soccer penalty, the soccer penalty. Gabriel handballed the ball. Me to you now, should have that been a penalty? Let me let me be real with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes no time. Yeah. I don't want no explanation. No, 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 no. Don't be a politician. No, 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 no. You mentioned yes Frank or no? You mentioned. You mentioned fan camps. No, I mentioned it. Bro, at the, at, the, at the stadium, none of us saw it. We didn't know what was going Like, I okay. didn't know about it until after I went home. Okay. That's, none of us knew about it. So, yeah. so having now, seen it back, yeah. having seen it back and having heard Tuchel admitting that the referee said he saw it, mm-hmm. but said this is the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Mm-hmm. It's a mistake. I agree with that. You agree with How are you going to decide the game? How are you going to decide the game on that? Yeah, but but okay, cool. Which was more of a penalty, Gabriel or Saka? Please tell me. You see, it depends if we're going to go by the rules here or the or the items. <sighs> Listen, <laughs> this this new winger you've got, yeah, man from Tekken, <laughs> Eddie Gordo. Bro. How is he trying to kick Neuer and then claim a pen? Are you mad? You know what it is. As I said, you man are getting desperate, bro. We can see it. The pressure's here. It's April. This is the month that Arsenal always deliver the banter FC. So <laughs> I never did I think I'd see it in Saka. And listen, I went to drama school, bro. I went to drama school. I can see when a man is acting. So why was Saka limping after the game, please? Like that actually hurt him. Can you, can I could, I, I could also, I can also see when a man is acting, and you're acting like you don't know Arsenal are on the verge of greatness, bro. You're I, acting like it's not going to come. Whether it's in eight weeks or whether it's in eighteen months, yeah. Arsenal will be at the elite end, elite table of football. You're, you're you already know there. This. You're already there, bro. But like as I said last last season, you was you was doing it, and then you flopped. There's every vibes. Our there's been vibes. so many vibes. times. There's been so many times where Arsenal look great. Arsenal do this, and then they flop. I, I pray, I pray that you don't so I can shut my mouth. But if it, if it was a betting man, you are going to flop. I think, I think usually, the, usually box to boxes get about thirty to fifty k views. Sometimes twenty, sometimes sixty. Mm-hmm. So I think, I think you're not the only person that's going to want to hear you shut up. Come the yeah, end of the clip season, this. Clip 50, my face. People waiting for you. Don't worry. We'll clip. It might be clipped already. Joe, is this clipped? <laughs> Get it out there, man. Let's get this one ready. Put it in the ah, folder. It'll be coming out. Man like, Maybe you got man like Dida at centre back, yeah. You got man like Eddie Gordo at right back. I mean at right wing, yeah. Who else you got? You've got you've got half time man, Kiwa. What was my listen, 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 listen. Is that how you say his name? Kiwa. Kivio. K- Kidio, listen. If he starts against Villa, yeah. <laughs> what about 
he got sucked up at half time, bro. No injury. The disrespect that man are gonna put against him against Bailey. Listen, he's gonna come off the pitch. Bailey, listen, Bailey's head's gone, bro. Bailey. This guy he, don't know whether to play for Jamaica, whether to rip them in the news. Right, he doesn't know you want to talk do. about Jamaica? You want to talk about Jamaica? As soon as half time hits here, my man's gonna go to bloody Arteta and he's gonna say, Arteta, mina have that. Because, get me off. <laughs> he's gonna be talking Zinchenko. Get on the pitch, bro, because my man's dusting my heels, fam. A man, could, <laughs> a man got subbed off at half time, yeah. <laughs> You better hope Tomiyasu don't play, bro, because Tomiyasu will lock Bailey up. Tomiyasu oh. will deliver Bailey to the Jamaican oh. FA by Monday morning, bro. So you better hope Tomiyasu don't play in that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, we, we, could talk about, we could talk about who's going to play, who's not going to play. But, but you're cheeky, though. How are you talking about defences? You held four to Tottenham. Tottenham? Yeah. And? What's your point? You could have done with Kivio coming off the bench for you, man, against Tottenham. Listen, I think. listen, 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 listen. We had a bad game. Listen, you you know oh, yeah. you know it's actually hard. It's hard being on this right now, yeah, trying to give you lot smoke when you are when you are the team now undefeated. You have been killing it, for, not undefeated through this this year. You've you've probably conceded how many goals you conceded? The not least many, in the it? league. In the league, how many in the league? The least, the least twenty something. Yeah, um, no, no, no. About was... This year, this year in the cal new calendar year, this calendar year in yeah, the league, yeah. you've only conceded a few. I think it's one, if I'm not mistaken. Is it one? I think it's one. This is what I'm and saying. That one, I... no, you lot, you lot want me to come out here and I'm trying to fight my corner against against like <laughs> an undefeated Mayweather, bro. Like, what, what, what's going on right now? <laughs> How you been ripping us? You ripped us for seven minutes. Now you're calling us undefeated Mayweather. Which one is it, bro? This acting class is... I don't know. Which one is going? The sections, the sections of the games where we have to exploit. So if Raya wants to play on the halfway line, yeah, we can exploit that. If Saka wants to try, this ain't the first time that Saka's done his kicks, you know. My man's been doing these leg kick things, yeah, throwing his leg at people bare times. So he can't be doing that against Digne or Moreno. Man needs to give him a little stamp if he does that, bro. I don't rate it though, because I like yeah, Saka. I, I like Saka, so I don't feel like he should be I know you guys. do. I love Saka, bro. So it, it hurts my heart. It hurts my soul when I'm seeing man kick a man's leg. Kick. Bro, bro I wouldn't say he kicked his leg. I'd say he, he, he expected contact. He done he Pilates, bro. He didn't come the huh? man done Pilates. The man, the man Pilates. Done, what what man to do, bro. He's cut inside. In his head, he's thinking, yeah, I'm going to get a pen. That's where he went wrong. Uh, I wouldn't say he dived. I'd say he should have tried to score. But so, so, it wasn't a dive. It wasn't an out and that pen. Oh yeah, yeah. But people were trying to compare that to the to the United one. Now the United one was a foul because Wan Pasaka done a stupid challenge. It was like a stupid tackle. So yes, if you no want contact, to, say again, no contact. Yes, but he he's put his body in the way of he's put his body in the way of the run. You get me. So in order for who who is it that he fouled again? Um, Elliot. Elliot, in order for Elliot to run, he's then going to have to jump, which is then going to stop his stop his like run on the ball, and the, somebody's probably just going to tackle the ball anyway. So if anything, it's an obstruction of play. Neuer was basically just stood there, bro. Like Wampasaka's threw himself in, so there's no comparison in that in the slightest. I say no more. Listen, why are we talk about Champions League? You're not even in it. Let's move on to the league, man. We need to talk about that. You're not in it yet. Um, but listen, who's the Who's the main man? I mean, it's going to be Watkins, I assume, in terms of... If I asked you who the main threat is for mm. Aston Villa going into this game, for you, in your opinion, considering, you know, you've talked about Arsenal, you talked about Kivio, left-back potentially, Leon mm. Bailey. You've got DRB in there. You know, it's been stop-start in terms of him starting games. McGinn, I, I actually like McGinn a hell of a lot. That's a player that, you know, I think he, he, he's quite underrated. Um, who's the threat for you? Who's the main threat? Is it more because you're away, you're looking... At a better defensive performance from Villa, or do you think it's it's up to the attack to to get any job done if there's going to be a job to be? Yeah, know, I think I, I think I think obviously we need to we need to go in there. We need to rough up some feathers. You know what I mean? Like we've seen how he's played against Munich. Now, obviously, Munich are a class team, and they like they're different levels above the rest. But it's like we've got to play on the fact that you know that that's your next game, and you are away, and we've just got to try and be, like we need to make we need to be thinking. We hope that you lot are just thinking, yeah, we're just going to run over Aston Villa, you know what I mean? So we need to give them a shock of their lives. And yeah, like Watkins, 
needs to be on smoke as he has been all season. The most goal contributions in the league without penalties as well. So like, he's he's been smashing it this season, bro. I think I think Watkins is um, a big name for us. Bale is a big name for us. Rogers has been playing great as of late as well. Um, mm-hmm. Tillemans is just a baller. McGinn, you know what I mean? Like Douglas Louise. And there's so like Douglas Louise. If he was to go to Arsenal last season, I would have been fuming. Absolutely fuming. Um, but yeah, I think I think he's suspended. He's suspended on Sunday, isn't it? So who? Douglas Louise. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's suspended, brother. He's suspended. <laughs> I should have done my research on my own team, not your team. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, Watkins last, you know, maybe maybe a, a, a last try against the club he supports. I know I know he'd hope for a move to Arsenal in the summer if the opportunity came mm-hmm. back. Yeah, and if he gets, if he was to bang two or three, then you take him pay us that big money, like like we got for Jack Grealish. <laughs> we might be all right. <laughs> you lot are on a hype since the Jack Grealish man. I'm seeing 85 billion for Louise and that. Why would you not think no, Louise no, is? How much? How, all right, how much would you pay for Watkins? For Watkins, how how old is he? 25, 26, 28, 27, 28. Um, 28. Last contract in terms of a big one. Let me just semi proven in the league. To make sure I'm correct. Semi proven in the league, I'd say. I'd say a fair price for him in in today's market, because I don't think anyone's worth the value in today's market. Going to another, going to another prem team. By the way, remember that. Yeah, but we we ain't, we ain't challenging each other for nothing. It's not like you're helping the helping competition. Still, I had an extra fifteen. <laughs> I think. I th- I think 70 million is fair. 70? Yeah. Okay. I thought he was going to say lower. There's no, a lot, I think 70 would be a lot fair. of Arsenal fans and they're like, yeah, we're taking for 40. It'll be like a 45 man. And I'm just thinking to myself, you can't be putting up numbers the way he's been doing this season with, with assists and goals and you're just putting like 45 on a man. You know what I mean? So. No, no. no. He's more than that. And if, if Tony was being quoted at 70, 80, then I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, it, roughly the same if, yeah, if yeah. that's the market. So. I like Watkins. Like, what about Arsenal? Who's who, who's your main threat for you? Who do you need to keep quiet in order to be confident? <laughs> man like this? Eddie Gordo, yeah. Man like Saka. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep him quiet. Uh, I think obviously, oh, I, you know, what it is. Are you going to play Jesus? Because I hate watching him play against Villa. You know, I, 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 you lot don't rate probably him. not. You lot don't probably rate him, not. but like the way that he dribbled past um, uh, Munich to get the goal for Trossard as well, like yeah. Havertz, do no, I like Jesus? Havertz, I think that? we'll rest, not rest, but I, I, because Jesus' knees are gone, I think he can't play two games back yeah, to back. Yeah. So I think he'll start against Munich, so he won't start this one. I think Arteta could, you know, do a madness. I don't know. Like he, he knows, he knows his best team is best set. Mm. He's shown over the years now that tactically he's up. He, you know, he's very much up there. You look at you mentioned these goals conceded, most goals scored from an mm. Arsenal team that. Couple of years ago, people would have laughed if you said the next two years Arsenal are going to challenge for a title. <clears throat> now people are trying to laugh at us drawing to Munich in the Champions League and drawing to City at the Etihad. Mm-hmm. So in those two years, we've come a long way. Yeah. Obviously, we've spoken about Arteta before, and uh, and you know I think it's pretty nailed on now that he is a top top manager. The, the argument pen. will be he needs to get over the line. Do you hear that? The B Tech Pep again. The B Tech Pep. Man said the B Tech Pep. Broski. He got four out of six against Pep this year. If we win the league, yeah, the student has beaten the tutor or the master or whatever. You on, a, on a on a season like there's there's ways of like Venus Serena, uh, Venus Williams beat Serena one game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like something. Yeah. Like, she she's not Serena, bro. Like you're not you're not you're not Pep, bro. Until you start stepping up, yeah, you, Arteta's not Pep. No, nah, no, nah, he's not Pep. He's you not get Pep. Sometimes but he didn't have to. He didn't have the blessing Pep had in his first managerial stint. Arteta walked into a club with Lacazette, with Bellerin, with Mustafi, mm. with Pep walked into a team with <coughs> Messi, with Ronaldinho, with Xavi and Iesta. So their mm-hmm. starting blocks are very different. And I'm yeah, not listen, yeah, yeah. Pep is, in my opinion, the second greatest manager of all time behind Who's Sir first? Alex. So I'm not comparing them in that way. Who's first? Sir Alex. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Why are you talking to me? You think you're talking to Sessu or someone? Nah, bro. I have to keep it real. I have to keep it real. Um, uh, so say no more. Key men talked about. Oh, no, no. I didn't talk Emirates. about Odegaard, bro. Odegaard. 
Yeah, Odegaard. Yeah, Odegaard's Odegaard's the guy, bro. I, I I've liked him for a long time, and yeah, I don't think I don't personally think many people can keep him quiet. However, I've noticed I've noticed that he doesn't turn up against the big teams. So our Villa are a big team right now because we're in the top six. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't turn up against the that's big teams, bro. Oh, the ghost. No, that's a myth. Oh, the ghost it's against the big teams, bro. So if we're it's a big team, yeah, if he doesn't turn up on Sunday... I was yeah. about to say, so you can be nice. You said they really like Odegaard a lot. You flipped it on to him. Oh, the ghost and all of this. Love him. I'm saying to you, yeah, if he doesn't turn up against Villa, yeah, that suggests, that, like, tells me that Villa's a big team and I respect that from Odegaard and that's why I like him. So we're going to we're gonna say if he smokes you on Sunday, you're going to say, our oh, little Villa. Little I'll be villa. like, yo, we need to go back to the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no, listen, to, to be honest with you, Aston Villa, you know what? Growing up, Aston Villa were always a mainstay. They were always in the league. I actually, I, I like Villa. I know over the last few years, from that Emil smith Rowe nonsense a couple of summers ago, there's been a bit of a rivalry between the fan bases online. But in general, I mean, after this game, I hope you do finish top four. After this game, I hope you win the rest of your games for the season. I hope you're in the Champions League next year. I'd rather see you there than Tottenham or United or Chelsea or... <laughs> Actually, Newcastle, I don't really This, this is what I like it, man. This is what I like it, man. This is what I like it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we'll take them wins. We'll take them wins. And obviously, we already took a win earlier on in the season. So, the, my gift back to you is that you can have a win this time around. You know what I'm saying? I'll, yeah, I'll, three I'll, points I'll, on Sunday, yeah? I'll give you an eye call, yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll say, like, bro, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Just give them the three because they t- we, t- we, t- we took the three from them. You know what I'm saying? All right, mind you. I know you know them, man, as well. Call Oli as well. Tell him, leave it out on Sunday, yeah? And you'll get your move to <laughs> Arsenal. Score nothing, you're good, bro. You're good. <laughs> All right, let's round off with predictions, Luke. Um, home team Arsenal, so I'm going to go first. I think we should have beat you in the first match. We had enough chances. Should have, um, would have, could have. I, I can't believe. Yeah, should have, would have, could have. But that 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 should have, would have, could have moves on to Sunday now. And mm-hmm. we will beat you. And we will beat you comfortably. 3-1. That was the exact same scoreline I was going to say, mate. So, uh but you know what? It's Arsenal, yeah. You know what? You know why? You know why? Because every time I bet against Villa, we do a madness. Yeah. Every time I say we're gonna win, we we end up getting like a draw or we get a stupid loss like United twice. I was fuming at that. So you know what? I'm gonna say on the record, 3-1 Arsenal, and I can't wait for that to be clipped to show that I'm wrong. That that tactics, you get me. All right, say no more. I'm gonna clip this bit out. I'm gonna be calling you after the match and see. Ah, okay, okay. Viewers, make sure you're looking at the screen because he's saying something different with his hands that's coming out of his mouth. So he's saying 3 1. I'll let you see what he was saying with his hands. Hey, right, Luke, talk to them, man. Where can they find you, bro? Uh, you can find me on uh, all platforms at Luke Vernon. Uh, some have an underscore at the end, some don't, depending on the platform. So yeah, just type in Luke Vernon and you'll find me there. There you go, Luke Vernon, V E R N O N. If you search it up on Instagram, on on the socials and whatnot, you'll see him. TikTok's the biggest following, so yeah, search me up on there. Oh, come on, man. You're doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. We will talk Sunday after this. You know what? I didn't want to call you after Sunday, but after this box-to-box, I will call you on Sunday after the game, my bro. No, no, you know what, though? Last time, yeah, last time I tried to call you when when something was happening, you were like, why is Luke calling me? Hanging up on that, like... So so maybe I'll I'll hang up on you, bro. About wisely, maybe, maybe the satisfaction, the satisfaction I'll get from that. Do, 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 do. That'll no, be enough. Bro. If that'll if be enough. Was, if we're to get a winner or a draw, you're still gonna call me. My battery might be dead, bro. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't know what could happen, bro. I can't promise you anything. <laughs> that Luke, love as always, my bro. Um, no listen, I'm sure. Listen, Villa are doing their thing, so I'm sure we'll talk again next season. And yeah, um, big up you. Europa League, still in the top four race as well. Actually, not Conference League, sorry. Still in the top four race. Is it Conference or Europa? Conference. conference yeah, Conference. Still in the top four race. Unai Emery, I actually like him. It didn't work out at Arsenal, mm-hmm. but like I said, after Sunday, good luck to you. But Thank you, you. I'll be calling you. We'll be talking Sunday. Love for the love, people. Can you Keep ask me light. one last question? Can you ask me one last what question? You wanna... the, the all-important second what? question, go on. You know what it is. Ask me the all-important all important second important question that everyone's been talking about for weeks. Is he world-class? Yes, he is. 
Look at this yes, guy. Yes, he is. <laughs> Look Come at on. this guy. If Bro, you can, if why anybody, didn't you say that at the beginning? You know what it is? In the comments here, if anybody can name, is Saka world class? Yes, he is. If you can name three right wingers that are better than him, I'll shut my mouth. Simple as That's, that. I can't. Simple can't. as that. You can I probably can't. name one, bro, maybe two. Max. Max? Yeah, your, your, your dog argues, not argue, Salah. There's no Salah, argument. Gone. Rodrigo. People nah. may argue that. Uh, the, p- people would argue Rodrigo, but who are you picking? Do you know what I'm saying? So, I think Rodrigo is better on the left as well. He's quality. But listen, Luke, for all the people that locked off midway through this box to box because Luke was talking hella smoke, <laughs> he ends it with Saka is world class. So hit the like button. Go show Luke some love. Make sure you subscribe. Put the notification bell on. And love for the lovers always, people. Peace. We're out. Love, man. We've got the best keeper in the world.